What Mike has done for me, has done for Auburn, has done for Cuga County, was to make certain that those that sometimes are not seen are seen. We're invited to the big boy table so that the support that was required for all people in his, uh, in his regions to thrive were plausible. He is really the epitome of what inclusion looks like long before it was kind of politically correct to talk about inclusion. You know, and I would, I would actually be remiss if I didn't mention my Aunt Gloria Griffin, whom um, with uh, first CAP, Cuga Action uh, Program, then Cuga Seneca Action Agency, um, under your uh, guidance and tutelage and partnership, was able to actually do hundreds of millions of dollars worth of work for the needy in both of these two counties. So what I'm going to do actually is that Mike allowed for me to use the performing arts in order to make an impact in people's lives. One, I was able to help people that looked like me. I was able to be an example for people of color that said that they too could actually strive um, and they could be successful, one. Two, um, he helped to be able to seriously to have contribution that said that any person <clears throat> that really did the work that was necessary could actually have that opportunity, right? And that is incredibly important because everybody talks about inclusion, but real inclusion happens when no one's watching, right? That's when it really happens. And if, if it works, it's because it's happening in the back room and then it ends up on the stage, right? And then lastly, um, I wanted to share uh, him championing uh, this gal named Harriet Tubman long before it was actually popular, right? Long before anyone was talking about putting her on the 20, right? He kept on saying that it was actually almost criminal that in our local and regional um, establishments of history that she had not been put on the same level with her peers. And so he started to work in a micro manner long before anybody on the federal level was talking about it. And so, 20, well, in 1993, um, he had also helped um, back when the assembly to get some support for the first that I had heard of, uh, Harriet Tubman musical. And that musical in 1993 is now getting an entirely new uh, uh, approach of uh, attention and we've been able to retool it, working with folks from Eastman School of Music, creating an incredible score, and it's called The Soundtrack for Harriet Tubman, and it launched this past summer the Harriet Tubman Freedom Music Festival in Auburn, and we'll be doing it in Manhattan and touring around the globe. So, in my final words, I thought that it would be appropriate that I could actually show you the world-class signature that this man thought was worthy of voice so many years ago. So for Harriet and for my brother Mike, I give you this. Come on, Harriet. Hurry up, old girl. Come on, Harriet. Hurry up, old girl. Come on, Harriet. Hurry up, old girl. You're about to change. You're about to change this world. I saw you standing. You took them hand in hand. You saw them standing. You took them hand in hand. Come on, hurry up. I'm about to change this world. Come on, hurry up. You're about to change this world. Mm -hmm. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harriet. You about to, we need you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
you done? You're about to change this world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.